Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, this is Homesteader Quickie number 41. Now, when I was a kid, my grandparents always used different things to predict the weather. Now, my dad did too. They, they all believed one thing or another about predicting summer and winter and how the winter was going to be. Was it going to be excessively cold or excessively hot? Uh, so, I've got one of those things here that they always used. It was called a woolly bear or a woolly worm, whichever one you want to call it. Uh, this is what uh, my woolly worm predicts this year. Okay, here's my little woolly worm caterpillar. Here's his head and here's his tail. Now his head is, uh, the, is black. His tail is black. But everything in between the head and tail it's kind of brown. Well, what it means is the brown areas represent mild winter. Let me see if I can get a little closer. And then the black areas represent uh, rough weather, like snow. So it looks like, according to this woolly worm, we're going to have, it's going to be very beginning here, it's going to be a little bit, when we look at his tail, uh, Right at the end of winter, it's going to be not too much. At the beginning of winter, we're going to have quite a bit of cold and then brown. Mild winter all the way around till about here. And then we're going to have cold weather for the last part of the winter. So the winter is going to come out and be really cold, then mild, cold, and mild again. Now, I love this folklore weather predicting. Uh, the truth is, that's a Sphinx moth caterpillar. Okay? It's a Sphinx moth caterpillar. And depending on the subspecies, those markings are based on what they are, not the weather. But I still love uh, thinking about those kinds of predictions and remembering Ma and Pa and Granny and Mom and Dad. So, okay, that's Homestead Quickie, number 41.